Hey friends, so I wanted to do a video on what is the number one factor that plays into what makes the difference between somebody who is just a presenter or just a distributor of a product versus someone who becomes a leader in their company. That all breaks down to exactly one thing, and that thing is the way you think. A lot of people think that thinking is something that they cannot change about themselves. This is how I'm hardwired. This is just who I am. It's not true, you guys. You can change your thinking. Um, there's a great story, and I will preface this with saying this is all based on a book, and it's How to Build Network Marketing Leaders by um, Tom Big Al Schreider is his name. If you haven't read this book, you need to read this book because the truth is, is that this business is going to explode when you do one thing, and that is build a team of leaders. It's people who think and operate their business as leaders. The difference in a leader versus a distributor or a, an employee type mindset is simply how we're thinking and how we manage problems. Um, when people say they can't change their thinking, I love this example. For example, okay, so let's say you're out one day and you see this teenage kid driving a red Ferrari and he comes flying past you. He almost like wipes you out and you know, you're freaking out like, what the heck kid? Like, you know, thinking that he's screwing around or playing around. And uh, later that day, your son comes to you and says, oh my gosh, like he calls you and he says, hey, I'm at the hospital, I'm okay. There was this young teenage kid that saw me. I actually got hit by a car, it was a, 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 a hit and run and this kid shows up, he saw the whole thing happen, he picks me up and he rushed me to the hospital as fast as he can and because of him, I, I'm, I'm okay, um, everything's gonna be okay. That is an example. Think about how you would think about that driver the first time and think about how you would think about that driver the second time. That is an example of the fact that yes, we can change our thinking. And so um, the biggest thing here is that um, a distributor employee type mindset sees problems and thinks the sky is falling. Oh my gosh. Honey, BB Flawless is out of stock and I just have no idea what I'm going to do. My customers are furious. I just, I mean, this is my launch party. Does this company not even know how to stock product? What's going on? What's, and they freak out. That is the way an employee thinks. It's everybody else's problem and they just see problem, problem, problem. A leader is going to look at that situation and say, oh my gosh, my product is so amazing. My company is so amazing that we can't even stock our product it's so like flying off the shelves because it's that good and so what they do is they go to their customers and say you know what girl we sold out of BB flawless last month and so this month I recommend that you stock up maybe go ahead and get two because they're good for 18 months voila instead you're creating a um, a value on your product versus holy cow the sky is falling um, same thing goes for when anything goes out of back order or something goes wrong because you guys were human. Like our company is run by humans and we make mistakes. Sometimes we think that a deadline is going to be like, you know, the first of the month and it ends up being the 15th. So what? It's, is it really going to change your business? If you don't have the samples today versus two weeks from now, is it going to ruin your business? No, a leader is never thinking in that the sky is falling mentality. They're always thinking about how I, can I use this to benefit my business and to grow my business. Um, you know, I think of the people who are always caught up in like different things. Like they get an, a, a, um, a, um, in like an opposition. So they're, they're talking to somebody at the product and then somebody says, oh geez, your line's kind of expensive. Well, then all of a sudden they start questioning everything like, oh my gosh, our line's too expensive. Nobody in my town would ever pay for this. And they think that everybody's driven by price. Here's another great analogy. If you think that everybody is driven by price, think of the literal cheapest car that is made in our country or in the world. Shoot, whatever. Think about that car. And then you would think if everybody is driven by cheap, by price, then wouldn't you expect that when you go out in the street that like the vast majority of every single person would be driving that car? Wouldn't everybody? Would we see Lexuses or would we see Fords or would we see Ferraris? Would we see, would we see anything? Would we see a Nissan? Would, no, you would see those cheap little junker cars everywhere because everybody's driven by price. 
if people were only driven by price, would we would would ever would anybody ever order pizza? No, because pizza ordering it to your house is something that we do because we like the taste and when it's convenient. Ordering online and ordering a great product is convenient, you guys. It's not necessarily the cheapest option, but we know that our our product is quality. And so you are looking for the people who are shopping for the Nissan. You're, they're, they're shopping for the Lexus. They're, they're shopping for the Infiniti. They're not shopping for the cheapest car because the truth is the cheapest car in the world, you almost never see them because the truth is, is people are not shopping for the cheapest option. They are sh shopping for luxury. They want to splurge. They want to feel high end. They want to feel convenience. They love comfort. Some people shop for the quality of our products. So many other reasons. So if you say, every single person in my area thinks that our line is too expensive you got to switch your thinking my friend because one um our market is a lot bigger than your town two i guarantee you even in the poorest neighborhood in this country people have really nice cell phones they order pizza they go to disney world things happen because they put value on those things and so all it is is creating value in our product and we do that by believing in it and you better believe it sister that the whole this line's too expensive it's not going to work for me so you quit that is not a problem with your market it's a problem with your thinking and so um i think about that one or how about this one my success rides on my sponsor it's my sponsor's responsibility my, my sponsor sucks she sponsored me and disappeared so there's no way i can be successful at this <laughs> Girl, if your success was driven by your sponsor, then every morning you would get up and think like, okay, today my sponsor is going to decide whether or not I book this party. My sponsor is going to decide whether or not, you know, anything in the business. Like, do I love this product? I don't know. I should call my sponsor. If this business truly just depended on your sponsor, then <laughs> you would be 100% reliable on her because you would have no chance of success if she wasn't holding your hand and making it happen for you. The truth is, is again, my friends, that's up here. So you're thinking about that. So let's say your sponsor does bail. Think like a leader, manage the problem and solve it. Okay, my sponsor bailed. So I'm going to search until I find the closest upline to myself that's active, that's going to get me engaged in training and help me. And then I'm going to respond to all of their training and I'm going to be very engaged and active and learn this business. When I signed up with Unique, you guys, my sponsor had just signed up herself. She had never done network marketing. She was wearing like Sharpie red marker on her lips before she started selling Unique because that's what was easy. That was my sponsor. So she now is black status. Why? Not because of who her sponsor is. She cut it out of her own fruition and she did it because of her thinking. She thought that no matter what it takes, I'm going to make this happen. It is not because this company is perfect. It is not because I have the perfect sponsor. It is not because my price point is perfect. It is not because we are the company that never, ever, ever sells out a product. Who doesn't that happen to? Every company in the world that happens to. When I ordered a Mini Cooper years ago, I had to wait like three or four months to have that thing built because they were backlogged on building the, the Countryman. I wasn't upset. I was excited about my Mini Cooper because I'd shopped for it and I thought about it and I dreamt about it and I wanted that car. This is no different, you guys. It's all in your thinking. And so when you can train yourself, any problem that arises, think about literally any problem that could come, just think about the solution to it. Think about how you can manage that problem. If your sponsor goes MIA, if you have a team member who goes MIA, if you have anything that happens, think like a leader, you guys. And if you're having a problem thinking of it, uh, message me and I'll tell you, well, this is what a leader would do. This is what a an employee mentality would do. Which, which one do you want? Because the truth is, is you have to decide that. Do I want excuses to quit? Do I want excuses to be upset? Do I want to live in drama? Like, what do, I, what do I really want? Do I want this to really work out? Because if it does, then every time a problem arises, I'm going to research my solution. If it's hopping on Google, if it's contacting support, our support is amazing. If you have a problem with product, you guys, contact support because they're awesome. They are so, so, so good. 
our product is genuinely, genuinely, and I mean this. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. It is the best makeup line I have ever used in my life, and I will never go back to using something else. I know that through and through all of my being and believe it, preach it, because it's true. I can say that with so much conviction. However, that doesn't mean that every single one of our products is going to be somebody's favorite. There's going to be people who order our lip gloss and it's just not for them. They're going to order a foundation and it's not going to be the right match. They're going to hear about the lashes and think it's going to work a certain way. They get it and they're like, oh, it doesn't really work on my lashes. Cool. Sell them on something else. It's not a big deal. And so I never am shaken when somebody has a problem with product. You just get something else. Contact support. That's why we have our love it guarantee. That's why we do customer service follow-ups. Hey, how are you loving your lashes? You know, having a little bit of an issue with application. Okay, let me send you an application video. And nine times out of 10, that solves it. If it doesn't solve it, let's do an exchange. If you know, if you find out after that, it's not for you. Excellent. Let's, you know, and through that communication with that customer, giving them good customer service, that person's going to be your customer for life because you are working with them because you care. And if anything, a lot of times the people who have the problems end up being our most loyal customers anyway. So look for the blessing in disguise. Look for the solutions. Don't look for the sky is falling all the time because that type of thinking will force you to quit. It will force you to think that, you, oh my gosh, it's just this is just too much. It's just not working. The problem isn't the business. The problem isn't the product. <laughs> because the guys, I hate to even say it this way, but the worst companies out there, the shadiest, crappiest direct sales companies have millionaires. And we have millionaires, only our company is awesome. Our home office is awesome. Our support team is awesome. Our product is second to none. Our support system in this team is second to none. So. The best thing that you can do for your business and to train your team members as they sign on, it's all up here, you guys. It's it's training. Think, like I said, just think about it. Think about every person out there who, do we sell first class seats on airplanes? Do people pay to go to a concert instead of listening to it for free, hijacking it off the internet? Do, you know, people could go to um, the, the liquor store and get a beer and it would be way cheaper, but no, they wanna to go to their favorite restaurant and the ambiance and order their favorite beer on tap. Why? Because people like to treat themselves, because people like to feel fancy sometimes. People like convenience, people like quality. And so think about what you have with this company. The compensation plan is absolutely amazing. The team support is absolutely amazing. And this company, guys, last month we had eight people go black. Out of 100 up to this point, eight people went black in one month. That is so, so, so huge. The potential of our company, we are the fastest growing direct sales company in history. We still hold that and we're still growing at just as fast of a rate. We've been at this rate for over two years. And that tells me that this opportunity is special. It is unique. Okay, <laughs> play on words, right? Um, it's, it's, it is special because what we have here is very different. And if you could make any business work, it's this one. The only thing that's ever standing in your way, it, it's, it is actually between your ears. So any perception of, I'm not pretty enough to make videos. I'm not young enough. I'm not old enough. I'm not a makeup artist. I'm not, girl, mm -mm. I, 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 I mean, with all of the love in my heart, I mean this, I genuinely kind of don't want to hear it because that stuff is garbage. Every single one of you has a market. Every single one of you can expand her market. We are international. Video, I, I don't care what you do. I mean, look at Maria Siza. Yeah, Maria Siza, who created the Angie Helps thing. That thing is, the whole thing is hilariously wacky, but it is working. Why? Because she thought, she thought like a leader. She thought about What's my problem? I There's a lot of distributors who do the same thing. How can I do something different? Make an alter ego, of course, <laughs> apparently was her solution. She thinks she's thinking like a leader. So think about any problem you're facing. You're not getting hostesses. You're um, getting hostesses, but you're not selling products. You think our product is too expensive. You have a bum um, sponsor. You have bum team members, whatever. 
think about the problem, and then think about the solution. Are you going to let this be the thing that drives you to quit? Are you going to let it be the thing that drives you to the top through overcoming it? And only you, my friend, can choose that. I'm here to brainstorm amazing leadership ideas with you all day long, all day long. And just in that positivity that, you know what, you've got a bum team. Let's talk about it. I am, I am here for you, dude. Like unbelievably here for you, but only you can decide whether or not you're going to say, eh, I tried this thing for two months and it just, it didn't take off and fall in my lap. So I guess it doesn't work. That, that's not true. <laughs> Again, are you going to let it be the thing that forces you to quit? Or are you going to decide, you know what, I'm one of those people. I want to do whatever it takes and I really want to make this thing happen. And when you're that committed and you're ready to really, really do this, nothing is going to stop you. Like nothing is going to stop you from the top. It is a matter of time. I am purple. I have been purple since April and I fully intend to be purple or to, excuse me, to go black this year. Nothing is going to stop me, you guys. If it takes an additional six months, I'm still going black. Never would I question you guys. When it, never would I question my team. Never would I question my leadership capabilities. Never would I question our company or our product or blame it on something else. No, it's on its own timeline and I'm going to do whatever it takes to make this happen because I chose a year ago. Like it's crazy to even say that. I'm at my year marker. But I chose a year ago that I was going to start with this company and I was going to give it my very best. Well, my very best became whatever it takes because that's how much I believe in this. I do understand that some of that kind of comes with time, but every single one of you can make that decision. So I don't even, I don't even think this is tough love. I think this is just good, solid business conversation where I say there is one person that controls your success. It is not your customers. It is not your downline. It is not your upline. It is not our home office. It is not Derek and Melanie. It's not anybody but yourself because you have the product. You literally have the best direct sales company that has ever existed in your hands. And I'm just going to ask you, what are you going to do with it? Are you going to say, eh, I'm going to try. Are you going to say, we'll wait and see. Are you going to say, I'm going to give it whatever it takes? Challenge you to really think about that. And if you are in the whatever it takes category, message me, contact me. I am here for you. I will brainstorm with you. I will give you books to read. I will give you my time. I will schedule leadership calls with you, personal one-on-one -on -one calls about your business. And we will brainstorm how to create solutions to manage problems because I can't spend my time fixing problems. I can't fix problems, guys. People are human. Our company, like I said, are run by humans. I can't fix everything. And good Lord, if I tried, I would never get anything done. But what I can do is I can teach you to think like a leader, to manage your problems, to create solutions. Those are things that I can't help you do. So that is my huge, big video for the week. Um, I'm so excited about you guys and I am so excited about where this team is going. We are just multiplying at an unbelievable rate. We're over 250 members now. Um, I'm just, I'm unbelievably proud of each of you and what you're doing. And so there are so many leaders on this team already. And I know that so many of you are growing right now. I don't care if you're white, if you signed up today, if you know that you're in that whatever it takes category, please reach out to me, reach out to your sponsor, reach out to whoever inspires you and just get connected, get to reading, get to personal development, to growing yourself and to really hitting that place of thinking like a leader because you're, if you really want to be to the, at the top of this, you create leaders. So it's not by getting a million sales and a million customers. No, you need, you need leaders underneath you. And so if you're that person, man, reach out to me because that's what we're here for. You have all of my support always, always, always. So think about what you want. Think about what you want from this. Are you waiting and seeing? Are you trying? Are you doing whatever it takes? Um, really think about that and know that there is no excuse that is bigger than your ability to conquer it and to get to the top of this company. There's not one, not one. There is no problem that we cannot solve, nothing. So with that, I love you guys so much to the moon and back. Um, yeah, 
I will see you in there. As always, I'm here for you. I'm fighting for you. And I love, love, love running alongside you guys. You guys inspire me every single day to get up, to think, to try, to grow, and to solve, and to to, to make this bigger as possible, and to be the best for you that I possibly can be. Because if anybody works for anybody, it's me who works for you. So um, love you guys. I'll see you in there.